Hey guys, welcome to the Johnny Gaming here with Johnny M. For and today, or this Tuesday, Corby's sorting us out. He's got a Thursday night game on a Tuesday. <laughs> His quarterback is out all season. He's got a guy out for three weeks and he has a guy out for eight weeks. I mean, Tom Brady's even out for the playoffs. He's out for 33 weeks. Oh, my. That helps a lot. They got Julio Jones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's like the best rivalry ever. We were trying a couple things, trying to help him get. Okay. Went for uh, trying to go for a QB because he couldn't get. He's, he decided to rock it out. Okay, finally. It isn't in the way of the scoreboard. Hey, you can actually see your scoreboard. I was weird why I was only doing it last game. That is weird. Um, so. Yeah. <laughs> why did you have to step up? RG3, let's get it. So you're going to be rocking out uh, back of quarterback all season, or at least until you want to start no. trading off. Uh, he put... Brady on the IR, but he hasn't picked up anybody new since then. Um, he might buy next game. Uh, we're both kind of just waiting for better players to come into free agency because during the first couple of weeks in Madden, usually Devontae Freeman is hurt again. Usually the first couple of weeks in the season, um, you have issues getting better players because no one's wanting to trade anything and the free to see is just a bunch of bull crap no one's there so you have to start thinking about what's coming in and what's coming out we haven't got an update on Devontae Freeman yet oh we're going to think that's for 22 Oh, yeah. Just a bruised shoulder. Just a bruised shoulder or anything, you know. If I get hit again, I'll freaking <laughs> my literally shoulder. explode. Not fumbled out of bounds. Aren't you lucky? <laughs> that was actually smart because I went to the side, so it would be out of bounds. Why do I have? I have no running back in this formation. <laughs> what the? Okay. <laughs> Trying to throw Tom Brady in the stands? Yeah, sure. Okay, come on. Guys. Let's not get into it again. Hold him back. What they just did. Sure. What the crap? <laughs> What's that? <laughs> you holding a tiller, dude? <laughs> An accurate kick. All right, hold on. Trying to get the thing to set back in. That <laughs> sounded weird. Dude. I don't know what's going on with that. That's kind of weird. Oh yeah, refresh that thing off. I can hear it. The air conditioner. Yeah. Oh, you're getting cracked, dude. I was like, what the crush that sound? Uh, here we go, here we go, here we go. You wanted to do good this game. Alright. So we're in the bubble. 
I was against Saquon. Yeah, Saquon. Isn't that what they told you they had? Or was that for me when they were told me about mine? Maybe it was mine they told me about Saquon. I wonder if we play each other at all in the season. We'll find out later. Well, I could see each other in the Super Bowl, but <laughs> gotta make it there first. What the Guys, this, this season is really not looking too great. Yeah. They just showed like a whole list of my injured players. <laughs> with Tom Brady. You know, you know Spider-Man with uh, uh with great oh gosh. With great power comes great responsibility. Right? Sure. With Tom Brady comes great injuries. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Almost injured your other one. <laughs> RG3, what is good? They underrate his passing. There's a flag. Why an offensive holding? Yeah. And they're going to keep the ball, and it's going to go forward. Defense. No, it's coming back. Oh, yeah. I forgot they do that. That's so weird when they do it that way. Someone, like, flip it around and said, yeah, I'm like, Why do they say offense, defense? You just say t the team name. I, I always thought that was stupid with the NFL when they say that. Holding, offense, holding, defense. Who freaking cares? Just say the team who did it. <laughs> it makes it a lot easier for everybody. Holding, Tampa Bay. <laughs> I mean, how much harder can you decipher what you're doing? People can distinguish it a lot better when you say team name. That's why I think, anyways. I think it makes sense, doesn't it? Nice job, Ryan. Was that? <laughs> I have no idea. They did some weird. Announced I sound like they, they wrote the paper. Is what it sounded like. <laughs> Bonte yeah, stepped him. out before the first. Yeah, he's not a great game. Even with an injury. No, you're only supposed to throw one interception, so good luck. Well, I didn't throw one yet, so actually... Uh, yeah, he did. One or fewer, I think, is the both of those games. So yeah. Kind of kind of can't throw another one if you know you're just cool. Make your team better. Here you go. Oh, I thought you were going to zone that. Never mind. That's intercepted. Oh, the dude dropped before he can get there. Well, that was his first good catch. Right on the money was all that you need. And I trust that's what you're going to do. And okay, uh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> that was nowhere near that. Robert Griffin, his passing was actually really good. They're just underrated. I don't know why. He used to be a very accurate passer, so I don't know why they're treating him like he's a complete idiot in this game. Like, he can throw like 60, 50, 60 yard passes on the money. That's the first injuries. Well, do you know what I think is crazy? Is that. All these other positions, halfbacks, wide receivers, defensive tackles, a lot of these players, they have multiple positions. 
And even if you're not on the starting lineup, you're still going to be used a lot. The only three positions that you really have to compete for as the top 32 players in the league is the kicker, punter, and quarterback. I mean, the fullback kind of too, but that not so much. The fullback's never hardly used anyways. But the kicker, the punter, and the quarterback is the only three positions you really have to fight for. And I've always thought that was interesting because, you know, a lot of these quarterbacks' success is dependent on other players rather than their own. Yeah, they may have a good arm. They may be really quick. They may be, you know, think about this way. Look at Patrick Mahomes and look at Tom Brady. Tom Brady is known as the GOAT. He's really good, really great, but he had a horrible season that this recent year. And he had a horrible season because of his offensive line. It was awful. Yeah, horrible season for Tom Brady is not making me so good. <laughs> but here's the thing. Patrick Mahomes, we know how good he is. He's really good. But if he had Patriots, if he had the Patriots offensive line for his thing, that would have ruined his career. And he might be becoming a backup next year if that was the case. Maybe, because we all know Patrick Mahomes is like the best quarterback in the league at getting out of sacks. <laughs> but you see what I mean, right? I mean, you could have a really good quarterback that you drafted. And then next thing you know, he's getting benched because of his other players. You know? Because, I mean, it all depends on... Like, think about it. Bengals, they have AJ Green, but they have a sucky quarterback. <laughs> like... So, well, no. The Bengals now have Joe Burrow coming in. Well, well, I'm talking about, like, for Joe Burrow, prior to, like... Andy Dalton. Like, Andy Dalton. Well, he, was, he really wasn't that great of a quarterback. I mean, he... I mean, he's pretty decent, but they had AJ Green, John Ross, and that was it. Yeah, that's why they suck. He has no other good players to throw to, that's or even use. That's why they suck. It's not the quarterback. But, but it's AJ the team. Green is like he's a great receiver. And, and so I but think, like, you know, nothing against Joe Burrow, but they're choosing the rookie over, you know, you know, really, really, is it really your quarterback or is it the offensive line? You know, or is it your receivers? I <laughs> mean. some really bad offensive lines. <laughs> I mean, think about it. Out of all the players on the team, not just the players, out of all the people involved in football, who's the two people that get the most blame? Um, the head coach and the quarterback. My major. He dropped it. But the head coach and the quarterback are the two people who get the most blame mm -hmm. out of all of them. Why? Those are the most key, key spots. Those are the most key spots as long as everyone else is doing their job. I know. <laughs> so I said their success is dependent on everyone else's success. Yeah, because every position counts. I mean, the only position you could actually somewhat live without is safety. <laughs> But even then, you need safety because you gotta go. You gotta um, you gotta have someone back there in case you get burned. I mean, think about the Saints. They have Breeze and Hill. Okay. They also have Bridgewater. Well, they used to have Bridgewater anyways. They don't need more. Bridgewater got signed as a starting quarterback for the Panthers. But they have Breeze and Hill. What do they do with them? They play Breeze for the majority of the game. But occasionally, they'll randomly spit out Hill and have him play quarterback. Okay? We need to see more of that for the quarterback position. I think. There's a lot of good throwers out there and a lot of good quarterback runners. There's a bunch of stuff you got there you can really use. And I don't mean just occasionally. I mean, like, once in a one play in the game or two plays in a game where you just do that. I'm talking... You really need to start interchanging the quarterback mm -hmm. a lot more. Start really 
diving in and seeing what difference can you make with two different quarterbacks. You know, don't settle just trying to hold one for the entire season. You know, maybe use your first string and second string quarterback interchangeably, and then you have a third string for backup in case someone gets hurt. You know? I was trying to hit Y. He Dak Prescott that. I was trying to hit Y. Y was wide open. But didn't have enough time. I think it was first and now apparently. I mean, I think about it this way. Goff. Jared Goff. I don't think he's that great of a quarterback. Mm. One reason he made the Super Bowls is his defensive team. And they didn't even make the playoffs last year. Especially when Aaron Donald was really good. <laughs> they didn't even make the playoffs last year. They also lost a lot of people, too. That's what I'm getting at. His success was determined by his defensive team. <laughs> For him to get, continue to be signed on. Yeah. Which is a little ridiculous. Panthers, I can actually kind of see why they lost to the, um, to whoever they lost to the lost last week before. But at least the Panthers kind of suck. <laughs> like, I'm beating them with my 67 overall backup quarterback. So. Robert Griffin's good. Well, that proves to you that the quarterback is not the position that always worry about 100% of the time and put full blame on. Yeah. The quarterback will do good as long as you block for him. And get open. Yeah. If you don't get open to block for him, he can't do good. It's not always on the quarterback. He's gonna, he's not gonna like. That's not his fault. He gets sacked. There's no lineman in trouble anymore. I mean, okay, Lamar Jackson, for instance. A little bit of a cocky attitude that he needs to dial down. But oh my goodness, he has a good team. How often did you see him throw? Uh, not very much. And he had the players to throw to, too. But here's the thing. Were they open? Or was he getting rushed so much that he had to run? <laughs> you know? Oh, there goes my one or something. I kind of just That's going to be kind of hard to do with that. Especially when he can't throw for crap. Right now. What the crap? He's down. Who they got? Alex Smith. Oh. <sighs> Nobody there. Thanks for juking backwards. <laughs> Come on, Reggie. Stonewall. Stonewall. Ooh, Breland's a good one too for that line. Stonewall. <laughs> no. St Stonewall. That was not a Stonewall. The opposite of a Stonewall. I love that movie. It's a great movie. Who next? <laughs> All right. Who next? But it's got to go through the middle. My grandma can kick it right, wide left, or wide right. Uh huh. <laughs> he didn't continue. <laughs> yeah. They like how he just told him the most obvious thing. Was it crap? That's an announcement. What? <laughs> what did you say? I have no a idea. Lot of crap, dude. I was going to ignore it. Oh, man. My grandma can kick it while I left or wide right. Uh huh. But you got it in the middle. Uh huh. Yeah, in the middle. 
Best character. Yes, it does. Pretty gigs. Aww. Hundred percent best character. He's hilarious. George Foreman, Samuel Jackson. Oh, that was wide open, dude. Remember at the beginning of the movie where the dude had a doctor's appointment? Yeah. Oh, what was that one part, dude? They're like, um. Hennenberg? Yeah. <laughs> That's the Gattisburg. <laughs> That's Gatlinburg. That's the Hindenburg. <laughs> And then he like wheels in with the chair slowly. <laughs> that was hilarious. YOLO. Oh, our view was open, dude. Yeah, I took a YOLO. They're trying to sneak in a deep ball on the what? <laughs> What's gonna be funny is so we can hear this audio loud and clear on their end for this uh, announcers, but I turn them down when I edit it. So they, the audience, they really want to hear what they're saying. <laughs> they may hear it a little bit, but not much. Dude, he is having a game. Bruce shoulder and all. 11 rushes, 139 yards, and two touchdowns. <laughs> Dang, dude. Arguably. Signature, he's going to do his tiller again. <laughs> <laughs> that was a bunch of things. Boom! Boy, play 70 yards, one minute, 42 seconds. Four. I think we're playing the game. No, I think so. Yeah. Burned him. The crap was on him. <laughs> was that Alshon Jeffrey? Yeah, yeah, that's great. You got Alshon Jeffrey and Julio Jones. Because he needed him, too. Uh, Wilson Sr. Oh, nice, nice. Yo, Geno Atkins is my best defender so far. What the? He's 100% like this. I gotta fix these uh, headphone jacks. I don't know what's going on with them. They're going to be the same a little bit. Oh, I can hear it too. Well, kind of. He just got another set. Well, I can hear us through both, but I can't hear the game through both. And that's what's driving me insane. Yeah. I just, you just got another sack. That's two in a row, dude. All over that. I'm all over that. Is my user not freaking good, dude? That's it better, dude. That was just a little off. That's a lot. Holy cow, that's loud. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that is hot. Real hot. There we go. Whoa. All cool. right, turn ours up a little bit so we can hear ourselves a little bit better. Three episodes later, we finally can figure it out. Come on, AJ, you gotta come down with that, bro. We need to take a lunch break after this. Noon. Noon. I told. Fight for that, dang it. I had to go for it. 
I, I, I usually go for it, unfortunately. I hate that they got all these people to run. Just die right into his crotch. <laughs> yeah, boy. Come on, AJ. I really want you to come down with this. Young blood. Oh, Yo. he didn't spot it when he flipped around. I know. That would have been good. You playing coach suggestions? Well, yeah. I just coach suggestions. Oh! Oh! Get wrecked. Funny thing is, everybody usually has a voice mod. I can do a lot of voices out of voice. Yeah. I mean, I can do impersonations, too. <laughs> Why are there so many? What was songs that? about rainbows. <laughs> <laughs> and is that a song <laughs> uh, the I can't do it. I am horrible. No. It's, uh... Why are there so many songs about rainbows? And who's only on our side? Please don't copyright that <laughs> on us. <laughs> <laughs> and no, that was not an audio thing. I wish I had a videotape on us right now to show you that was actually me doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I did that impersonated 54 voices that you get copyrighted on. Well, those are all split second things, so I, I think we'll be fine. So is that a bad thing if people put songs in their videos? Yeah, usually. Music and YouTube do not mix <laughs> at all. Not unless it's your own. And occasionally we'll bust out in song, but there's no problem with that. Just to randomly bust out in song. But, you know... We try to refrain from it because we don't want to have anything happen. And again, like I said, if it's just a few seconds long, it ain't going to matter. It usually don't, anyways. I remember watching a video one day. I was watching a video of somebody. I'm not going to say who. But they were watching. They were bust out in a T-Swift song. And they butchered every lyric. And apparently... T Swift actually reached out to him. <laughs> yeah, and uh, so I don't remember the whole thing, but it was just that. But it was just funny, just that T Swift actually reached out to him after he butchered her entire lyric for like a verse. I don't remember. I just remember that much. I gotta get RG three one more touchdown. Make up for his two interceptions. Perfect pass. Nice. There we go, RG3. But again, that's also what the person said, though, too. So, you know, take uh, your own word, you know, what, <laughs> what you want to hear, what you believe, and what you don't believe. <laughs> no, what? And that's just like, there's probably a few people that won't be so happy about that score late like, in the game. Right? I want to get him one more. I don't want him to get fired. He's probably not going to complete all of his goals at all. Ooh. God, that ball was out of bounds, dude. 
Yeah, you know, his feet was in, he caught it, then his ball touched the ground. So, as he kind of rolled out of bounds. I wonder why they're actually called. Apparently they think they can win. Apparently, <laughs> dude. I mean, I'm kind of confused. Four touchdowns are down away. And <laughs> I know. 18 Gators. Uh, that's what? exactly what I heard. 18, 18 Gators. 18 Gators. 18 Gators. Ten so far. You know, I'm gonna be wrong here. And today we're singing songs about 18 Gators. I know, come be wrong here. And this is the end of the video. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. Thanks for watching, guys. We're already coming over and out. Wow.